Within this episode, we're going to be discussing whether providers like Barclays and the Cambridge Building Society should focus their efforts on attracting new customers or retaining existing customers. A question such as this would attract 10 marks. So just to provide some context from the case study, two-thirds of customers stuck with their existing provider, whereas one-third changed to a new provider. So what possible arguments could candidates write? Focusing on retaining existing customers rather than attracting new customers could mean that providers forego the opportunity to grow. However, providers will already know these customers' financial position and therefore do not need to spend as much money on the administrative process when retaining customers. Providers like Barclays and the Cambridge Building Society may have to offer incentives to existing customers in order to persuade them to stay with the provider. Discounted rates, for example, would mean that providers would lose a significant amount of money over the term of the mortgage compared to if they did not offer this discounted term. However, there are cheaper incentives that providers can offer their customers to stay loyal. An arrangement fee discount, or waiving the arrangement fee altogether, for example, would benefit loyal customers in the short term, as they would not have to fund the initial fee. However, the provider could claw back the cost of providing this incentive through higher interest charges over the term of the mortgage. Focusing efforts on retaining existing customers could mean that providers have to spend a significant amount of money on staff training in order to improve the levels of customer service and relationship management they provide. This is to ensure that customers feel a sense of loyalty to the provider that they may not feel otherwise. However, the money that is likely to be saved through a reduced requirement to develop customer service could be beneficial to shareholders as it may potentially increase the share value and or dividend payout. That said, the amount of money that is required to be put into staff training to retain existing customers is likely to be significantly less than what is required to be spent on promotion in order to attract new customers. It really depends on whether the provider wishes to focus on short-term profitability or long-term growth. It also depends on the objectives of the organisation. It also may depend on the provider's stakeholders' views. As well as that, it could depend on the members' views within a building society. Don't forget to subscribe to CGS Money and Finance and hit that bell icon to be notified when future videos are released.